Let's start. The project name is Recycler View Multiple Item Selection. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity, a model class, and an adapter class. And in the UI, we have activity underscore main dot XML, which is the layout of the main activity. And a row underscore item dot XML file, which defines the layout of the recycler view. Let's see the UI. Here we have the recycler view. The height and width of the recycler view match the parent. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. And this is the recycler view. In the row underscore item dot XML file, we have a text view. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. And this is the text view. Let's see the Java code now. This is the model class with a string variable name as the data member. This name variable will be shown in each row of the recycler view. The Boolean variable handles the selection status of the item. These are the imports. This is my adapter class. These are the data members, which contain an array list of the model class type. This is the constructor. In the onCreateViewHolder function, we inflate the row underscore item dot XML file and pass that view into the ViewHolder class. In the bindViewHolder function, we fetch the data from the model class, one by one, and show it in the text view. Then if an item is selected by the user, we highlight it in gray color, and if an item is unselected, we remove its background color. In the getItemCount function, we calculate the total number of rows in the recycler view. This is the view holder class. These are the data members of the class. In the constructor, we set the onClick listener of the row. So when a row of the recycler view is clicked, we call the setMultipleSelection function. In this function, we update the status of the item selection and unselection in the array list. And then we update the recycler view accordingly. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. Here we have an array list of the model class type. And an array of strings, which we will use to fill the recycler view data. In the get data function, we fetch the data from the array and put it inside the array list, as a recycler view needs the data in array list format. In the onCreate function, we have created an object of my adapter class and pass the array list data in it using the getData function. Then we set the layout of the recycler view as linear. There are several types such as linear, horizontal, staggered, etc. Then we set the item animator and item decoration attributes of the recycler view. And finally, we set the adapter object into our recycler view. Let's run the app. As you can see, when I select an item in the recycler view, its color changes to gray. And when I unselect an item, its color changes back to normal. Also, I can select multiple items here. So that's it. That's how you can implement a recycler view multiple item selections in Java Android. Thanks for watching.